Tonight, more shocking allegations against a Loudoun County doctor. News 4 first told you about Dr. Martin Foreman of Reston Pediatrics last month. He's accused of groping two girls showing up uninvited at a teen patient's house and asking for her number. Well, after our story aired, a third alleged victim came forward and accused the doctor of also inappropriately touching her. She spoke with Amy Cho in an interview you will see first on News 4. When a Northern Virginia mom was holding her son during an appointment at Reston Pediatrics, she says Dr. Martin Foreman allegedly straddled her with his legs, then inappropriately touched her with his private parts. I feel like it was very disturbing and just even that word alone is not enough to describe, you know, how I was feeling. She asked that we not show her face out of privacy concerns. She recently filed this lawsuit against Dr. Foreman and Reston Pediatrics for sexual battery, saying she felt extreme embarrassment, helplessness, and shame. It's the third such lawsuit the doctor has faced in the last five years. It's a lot of trauma in itself dealing with that. There's just a lot of trust now that's been lost when it comes to the healthcare profession. She says she reported her case to police after seeing a News 4 report on Dr. Foreman last month. He kept touching her knee and kept st and he was staring straight at her breasts. This mom of a teenage daughter says the day after they saw Dr. Foreman, he showed up uninvited at their house, hit the family dog, groped the teen daughter and asked for her number, then invited her to come home with him. I'm looking for knives in the kitchen. I'm looking like, do I go out the back door? Do I to go get help? I didn't feel safe for my life or my family's life. Last year, a Loudoun County jury found Dr. Foreman civilly liable for battery in that case, ordering him in the practice to pay more than $1 million. During the trial, he denied any misconduct, arguing he was within the standard of patient care. This past February, a second teen girl came forward, accusing Dr. Foreman of groping her while she was alone in the exam room. She's now suing him for sexual battery, too. There needs to be justice for this because it's just not right for this man to continue having his license and having so much power. Dr. Foreman's attorney sent News 4 a statement about the third alleged victim, saying, These allegations are false and we are going to prove them in court. Dr. Foreman never did these acts. In fact, this plaintiff never reported these alleged acts to anyone at the practice. And a few weeks following this alleged encounter, she made another appointment for another of her children to see Dr. Foreman. If anyone has ever held a baby to be examined, they will know that it is highly improbable for what she alleged happened to have happened. This is about money, plain and simple. Virginia State Police tell News 4 they're currently investigating complaints about alleged inappropriate physical contact with juvenile females by a Loudoun County pediatrician, but they wouldn't go into more specifics. And we reached out to Reston Pediatrics for comment, but we have not yet heard back. Now, the first family we interviewed says they filed a complaint about Dr. Foreman with the Virginia Board of Medicine, but they were told he would not face any discipline. Now, right now, Dr. Foreman's medical license is still listed as currently active, and we tried to ask the Virginia Board of Medicine about that, but they said they could not comment due to state law and privacy mm -hmm. restrictions. I mean, Sean Leon. These allegations are stunning. I'm just curious. So he, he still has his license but is he still there in the practice seeing patients do we know that yeah that is a good question that is unclear uh, we were unable to get in contact with the practice as of this afternoon we did try asking that uh, if you look at the website his about me page does appear to have been taken down in the last couple months or so mm -hmm. uh, so we will continue of course to follow this story and bring you updates and I'm curious to see how many more you may hear from yeah. in the meantime yeah Incredible absolutely disturbing. all right Amy Cho thank you good Amy. to have you in the studio thanks Amy sure.